many years ago, and they come over here first. Actually, I arrived in Scotland first, all those years ago, back in the, the late 60s. And I was doing the folk clubs everywhere. Folk clubs are great in them days, but did anyone sing a folk club? Like let me sing, no, I was trying to start it. But uh, I've done 12 nights in Scotland, two the feedback of the week. And uh, uh, we finished up in a fantastic city, Glasgow. Fantastic city, you know? Great time there. And when we finished the club, the folk club for the night, we came outside this big, this young, this young man with a long hair and a beard. And his friend said, Would you let me go to a, a session in the apartment down the road? Because what you don't know here in Glasgow, Scotland, the club slows at 10 o'clock at night, even on the second night. And they don't go up on Sunday. I said, Will there be any beer there? I drink. He said, Loads of it. And we used to singers and players and fiddle players and accordion players and everything. And I, I went to have a great time with this, this fantastic party. And these two lads went on to become very, very famous all the world. One of them is still a great, great pal of mine. Uh, fantastic man, you know. Two went on to become really famous. The tall lad with the long hair and the beard at that time was Billy Conley. And Jerry Rafferty as well at that time. So the great time with the boys, anyway. The Jerry wrote his next song. I recorded it back in 1968. In 1970, and John Peel made it single of the year and the BBC playing us. A great song called Her Father Could Like Me Anyway. And he still doesn't. The coach you all, so lies of pan. That book I gave oh, her that she never She left without a singer for her to sing. Her father didn't like me anyway. She
Just 